Welcome to Trim Your Data if you want to avoid trouble. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, a lot of stuff needs trimming. Uh, clearly, my hair does actually need a lot of trimming. I think that's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, my garden clearly needs a lot of trimming, uh, but sometimes uh, your data or my data uh, also needs trimming. And um, what we can, uh, let me show an example here. So here's a customer card and uh, it looks, this, this looks peaceful. There's nothing wrong here or is there? Let's take a closer look at that name, look at that name field. So if I, I, I put the, the cursor here, we can see that well, it kind of looks the same. But maybe not because you can see that there's there's like extra extra blue at the at the beginning and extra extra blue at the end, and and I have this is something that I have seen so many times so I I know as I see this and and at the the microsecond my eyes focus on this I can see oh there are spaces there, um, so somehow. This was, well, maybe we can add another one. So now we have even more spaces. Um, spaces like this can, can make a lot of confusion. Um, let's say if we go out here and go to the list and we sort a name. Um, so I think the sorting is actually uh, in this case, is a bad example because space will leave, will still sort before this one. Um, but if you if you need to use the data in and in in some sort of a, a sort of way, those spaces can wreak havoc uh, on a lot of things. Um, so we need to trim them, right? We you know, maybe we want to trim it on a, at at the source. So so we could do that if we go here as Visual Studio Code. Uh, let's change this to actually extend customer card. So we can go layout, Kout, apparently my keyboard wants to do. Let's modify the uh, oh, 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 the name field. And simply go rec name equal rec name. And then it's super simple. Uh, Modify name. What am I doing here? Let me create a trigger first. <laughs> wow. On before validate. So now it's super simple because now I can do rec.name equal rec.name dot. And then I can say trim. You can see there's a function called, called trim even. Returns a new string in which all leading and trailing white space characters from the current text object are removed. Boom. That's all we have to do. Let's uh, let's hit a five. Run the thing. Get some of the old tabs here. Um, yes, yes. I published. So let's add another space just because we're in the in that mood. I tap out. Spaces are gone. So I have at the input uh, level. Make sure that. Uh, it's trimmed. Of course, that's only in in case of, of this is a very simple example with, with spaces. Um, but let's say that, that let's use the homepage field. Um, so I could do hogart.com here. And and you know, these things depending on where you copy them from, right? They they can they could easily have a trailing uh, forward slash. So let's say you have a URL and you want to do something about it. Um, so maybe we want to actually we can do it again at the source here. We we could we could go home page, and then we can go trigger on before validate and do reg dot home page equal reg dot. I'm getting in trouble here. Uh, 
homepage is marked for removal. That's okay. And then I will do trim end. And with this one, I can actually specify a character saying, okay, I want to remove slash. So if we, uh, if we go and try this again, go in here and go away with the message. You find the home page. Uh, so now I'll just do without, no problem. I will type the slash. It gets removed. So now we're trimming a specific character. But that function is actually way more cool than you would think. Because let's say you're building UL. So so we'll we'll just um, we'll just use this example again here. That we want to add something at the end of this URL. So normally we will say we will take the URL and then we say plus uh, contact.html. Um, but then we need to add a slash. But only if there, there isn't a slash. So what I usually always do in this case is that I go in and then I say trim and remove the slash no matter what and then i turn right around and insert it again so if we hit a five on this one grab another customer just for fun so i could type ibm.com slash contact IBM.com nothing contact. Um, and I, I do this all the time, all the time in, in processing that if I know I get something that is supposed to only be the, the host name uh, and I need to build out the URL, whatever, um, I trim away potential trailing slashes just to avoid that is uh, is an issue um, it just makes the code less prone to to error and less prone to get uh, for you to get into trouble uh, and and the if you go back to it just use that as true it can be really really hard to see we, we could have the same thing again here I could do IBM com space right so now we actually into whoa that's really bad right now we have a space in, in ul so then in that case we might want to do dot trim and then we trim again so double trim trim so if we if we try this out I am where we're on 20,000, right? So if I do I, IBM.com space, no, it's correct. That's always correct. It, it's getting really hard to type something in that is, well, I can of course type something that's wrong, but, but at least avoid these kind of scenarios. So trim your text. Trim something that is entered by users uh, to if if you need to use the data that is entered in building something else, uh, constructing constructing other parts of uh, whatever data that might be, to avoid that that they either trim on the input or trim while when when you're going to use it, or maybe you want to do both, um, or if you're getting data from somewhere else, so data coming in. Like if you're getting UL for something and you need to, to use it again, I do this in the, in the SharePoint connector. I get a UL from SharePoint uh, uh, and I could trust Microsoft always f forming their URLs the same way, but why take the chance? So I trim off uh, trailing slashes and then I add it again uh, just to be sure.
and you can do the same. And uh, if you need more AL hacking tips, uh, check this video out. It's a good one. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.